Hello and uh, today we'll be checking out the uh, plugin for the shipping that's the Magento 2 platform based web store uh, plugins uh, multi shipping extension so uh, we'll just go through that and uh, I'll be showing you the workflow at the customer's end and the rest of the functionality thereafter so uh, basically this particular plugin allows the uh, Magento 2 platform based web store admin to create multiple shipping methods for the delivery of the product and the admin can select the countries for which the shipping method would be available and can even set the title for the shipping method. Also, while creating a new shipping method, the admin can set the title for the shipping method along with the price, weight range, zip code range for the delivery of the products. So before we proceed further to show you the workflow of the storefront and then the initial configurations required for this particular plugin by the admin from the admin backend panel, Kindly do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. Now, right now you can see that I have uh, two products in my cart. That's the Just Stuffle Pack and the Rival Field Messenger Pack. And I've logged into my customer account as you can see. So now, uh, after the customer has uh, chosen the uh, products that he want to purchase, he can tap here in the Proceed to Checkout and uh, as we know this particular plugin allows the uh, web store admin to create customized uh, shipping methods uh, for providing the delivery to their customers so let's tap here on the proceed to checkout button and here you can see that i've already selected my shipping address and the order summaries for the two products now under the shipping methods here you can see that we have the web web cools, uh, multiple shipping so this particular shipping uh, title can be set by the admin Right now you can see that it's showing that uh, zero dollars is there now the customer just needs to choose the method and here under the multiple shipping method you can see the custom methods created by the uh, web store admin so he can choose uh, from uh, within eight hours shipping within five hours shipping i'll also be showing you how to create one and uh, how it get displayed here at the checkout time in a while from now so here you can see that for us i've created it for uh, 15 dollars and uh, for the US uh, as well, I've again created it for uh, $25. Now the customer just needs to choose any one of the uh, sh uh, shipping methods from the ones that have been listed here uh, for the customer. So that the customer can place uh, the order using that particular shipping method. Now, for example, let's go for the $15 eight hour shipping method and then tap here on the next button as a customer and uh, on the checkout after this we'll be placing the order then within the order summary i'll be showing you the details of the same so here i'll choose i agree to the terms and conditions on the right hand side under the order history here you can see the uh, card subtotal discount and here's the shipping that the customer has chosen that's the web cools multiple shipping within eight hours shipping to the united states for 15 dollars now let's proceed further and tap here on the place order button now after the order gets placed uh, we'll be able to see the same shipping selected method uh, under the order history for the customer there so uh, we'll just check that as well in a moment from now so you can see that the order has been placed and the order number is 34 let's check that once so here's the order number 34 the items are arrival field in the chest of the park the shipping and handling charges are 15 dollars now uh, here's the shipping address of the customer and this is the shipping method chosen by the customer that's the web cools uh, multiple shipping and the shipping uh, method was within eight hours shipping to the united states now this was the customer's friend and now let's uh, hop into the admin backend panel and let's see how the admin can initially configure this uh, particular plugin within his magento 2 platform based web store before make before making use of the same so now let's hop on to the admin backend panel. So I've already logged into my admin backend panel for my Magento 2 platform based web store by entering my username and password. And uh, after the successful installation of this particular plugin for the initial configuration settings, we'll have to navigate through stores and then configuration. And after configuring the admin, uh, we'll have to navigate to this side panel option. That's the multiple shipping management and under that he'll be able to create the multiple shipping methods so i'll just open that and we'll just check the uh, process of creating the multiple shipping methods in a while before that let's go to the stores and then configuration so as to make the 
initial configuration settings before making use of this particular plugin uh, within your store. Now, uh, after uh, navigating the configuration page, we'll go to the sales section, and here uh, we'll be choosing the multiple settings, multiple shipping settings. So this option would be visible to the admin. And uh, all right, I'm sorry for that. We'll have to check uh, the uh, delivery uh, section. So uh, we'll have to navigate to the delivery methods and not the multi shipping there. So here you can see that we have the uh, web pulls uh, multiple shipping under on the configuration page under sales under that we have the delivery methods and under the delivery methods we have the web pool uh, multiple shipping option. Now from here the admin can make use of this particular uh, option uh, or the plugin by setting a, it as a yes. Otherwise, to disable this uh, multiple shipping method functionality, the admin can choose a no. Then the admin needs to set up the title that would be visible to the customers. So this is the same uh, title that is visible to the customers at the checkout time, Webcool Multiple Shipping. So if you remember here, we have the Webcool Multiple Shipping. Then we have the name. That's uh, We have set it uh, for uh, this demo as uh, Webcool Multiple Shipping. So that's why here as well as it's again showing the webcool multiple shipping. Now let me come back and uh, thereafter the admin needs to choose uh, where he exactly wants to uh, apply this uh, particular plugin functionality to. So ship to applicable countries whether you want to have it for all of the uh, allowed countries or you want to have it for specific countries. If you go for specific ones then ship to specific countries section. Here you need to choose the specific countries where you want to make use of this particular functionality so for now we'll just choose it as all allowed countries you can set up the sort order for the same and uh, you can choose to display the error message uh, if the particular shipping method is not available to the customers and thereafter you'll have to tap here in the save configuration button to make the initial configuration settings for the web tools multiple shipping so after you've saved this uh, You'll uh, now be uh, navigating to the multiple shipping management site panel option here. So let's go to the multiple shipping method section. So for the first time when you come to this uh, particular uh, section, it would be all empty without any uh, uh, details. So here uh, the store admin can create a new shipping method, can edit any of the created ones by tapping the edit link on the actions column. Uh, can choose any of the shipping methods and can do uh, actions like delete and change status as enable or disable to enable or disable any one of the uh, different multiple shipping or the customized shipping methods. So if you remember this was uh, the visibility of the shipping method at the checkout for the customer within 8 hours shipping, within 5 hours shipping. So for example for the within 5, 8 hours shipping if I tap here on the edit link under the actions column will be able to edit the shipping method uh, or the customized shipping method. So here you can see that we are on the add new shipping method. We have enabled this one. We have set up the method name. Then uh, we have uh, entered the title of the country there. For example, in Australia, United States. Then from the drop down, we have chosen the country for which it would be applicable. For the state province, we have chosen star to select all of the state and provinces of the chosen country. Uh, then we have set up the weight from and the weight to values for the products and for each we have set up the price that would be applicable. Similarly, we can also set up the zip from and zip to values. So using the weight from weight to zip from zip to values, uh, the prices would be applicable on the shipping method there. And uh, here we have used asterisk so as to choose all of these zip from zip to values. You can also choose to have the alphanumeric zip uh, codes if it chooses as yes. Then you'll have to uh, enter the alphanumeric zip codes here. Apart from that, you can also uh, delete any of the added country there. To add a new record, you have to tap here in the add record button, enter the title of your country. From the drop down, choose your country, choose its uh, state province, for example, Aruba. Then we'll have to choose, uh, or let's go for uh, Bahari. You'll choose its state province from the drop down there or for example if i go again for uh, united states there then from the drop down we can choose the respective uh, state or province for which it would be applicable we can make use of united states and do uh, like uh, we can choose uh, multiple uh, state provinces uh, as well 
then just set up the width from the weight to values the price that would be applicable for the same then the zip to and the zip uh, from and zip to values there and lastly you'll have to tap here in the save button to uh, save your edited uh, shipping method or the custom shipping method that you've created now to create a new shipping method you'll have to tap here in the create new shipping method button that brings up the add new shipping method uh, section as you can see so here we'll enable the shipping method we'll set it as method name as test uh, shipping method and uh, thereafter uh, under the title here we'll choose it as us for the united states the country uh, let's choose it as united uh, united united states uh, for state province let's go for georgia or you can choose it as uh, asterisk for all now let's set up the weight from and to value so if the weight is from 1 to 12 then the price would be 30 dollars we can set up the zip from and zip to value so i'll just go for the asterisk for all of the zip from and zip to values so if i have an alphanumeric zip i can enable this here and enter the zip code here so right now i don't have any Similarly, you can add uh, multiple records uh, here uh, for the uh, countries where this particular shipping method would be available. And uh, after you've done this, you'll have to just tap here in the save button. So let me remove this. We'll just keep the United States. And uh, here, let me choose it as USA. And then just tap here in the save button. So you can see that the shipping method has been saved successfully and it will now be listed here. Here's the test shipping method. It's enabled right now. And uh, we can edit that up as well by tapping here in the edit link under the actions column. So here is the edit shipping method. We can now add more records state as per our requirement there. Now coming back to the uh, multiple shipping methods, you can also uh, enable or disable. Right now it's enabled. So if I check this up, I can change the status for the same as disabled then this particular would not be visible to the customers at the checkout time. So you can see that the test shipping method is now disabled. Now uh, let's uh, enable it up and uh, let's go to the store front and I'll just show you how this gets visible to the customers there. So uh, we have enabled it. All right. Here we also have the update add and create add uh, columns. Now let me hop onto the store front once. So here you can see that I have two products in the shopping cart. In the uh, initial uh, starting of this video, uh, I didn't show you. I just showed you at the checkout time when the uh, when the uh, what we see as the shipping uh, were available there for the customer to choose from the multiple shipping. So in, within the cart as well, if you go to the estimate shipping and tax section, if you drop down, choose your country, state, and your zip code, and then according to that, you can also see the web pool multiple shipping visible here. So here you can see that uh, right now it's zero dollars. So within eight hours shipping, within five hours shipping, and this one is the USA that I just created, the test shipping method, and here's the amount that's $30 for that. So the customer just needs to choose that up. This would be added into uh, the uh, details here, shipping. It's the web pool multiple shipping, test shipping method for USA. And let's go to the uh, checkout and let's place the order now. And then we'll be able to see the same details uh, within the order history as well. So here we are having the same. So I'll just choose this one. It's $30 for the web cool multiple shipping. I'll be tapping next. And uh, we'll now be placing the order. Now within the order summary as well, you can see it's the web cool multiple shipping. Then the uh, custom shipping method name. This is the title set from the uh, shipping uh, settings. This one is the shipping method name created for the country. And now let's tap here on the place order button. And you can see that the order has been placed and the order number is 35. So here are the details of the two products. And here's the web pool multiple shipping, the title, the custom method name, and for the country. So uh, hey, uh, what you need to remember is that uh, you should have set up the weight of your products. So according to that, then this uh, particular uh, uh, plugin would uh, easily work. So because if I go to the create new shipping method, you'll be able to see that we have one uh, section here where we need to enter the weight from and weight to values. So according to that, you'll have to set up uh, the weight for your products 
uh, before you make use of uh, this particular functionality so for example if I go to the product section and here we have just duffel bag that we just uh, place the order for just duffel bag and uh, on the product edit page if you see uh, you'll be able to see the weight of this product that I've set up so here you can see that I've set up the weight for this product as 2 LBS and the item has weight so according to this particular weight range uh, would also be used for uh, basically displaying the uh, custom shipping method to the customers at the checkout time there so uh, that was much about the uh, Magento 2 multi shipping plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com raise a ticket at webcool.uedesk.com or contact us through https colon forward slash forward slash www.webcool.com forward slash contact and uh, if you like this video then kindly do give it a thumbs up and uh, lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day